Ceremony. What a result here and what a service masterclass we've just witnessed from the Puerto Rican qualifier. She's progressed to just her third WTA semi-final in her career. She's done it. Belinda Benchik, she's into the semi-finals here in Sydney. What a performance, Martinez happy. And into the semi-final she goes. Great set to victory after an hour and 38 minutes, 6 4, 7 5. Semi finals day, the eighth edition of the WTA Premier Sydney International. We're down to the gritty final four. As the rain plummeted down yesterday, the calm was certainly not before the storm, as it brought with it an eager star studded lineup ready to resume action on Friday. With the Australian Open just a few days away, spot in the final was certainly in the eyes of the players as they looked for elevated confidence before going to Melbourne. So due to yesterday's heavy weather wiping out play, it meant Friday was to be a double header of both semi-final and final action. And continuing her quest for her first WTA Premier level final was qualifier Monica Puig as she took to the court against eight seed Belinda Bencic. Trailing for love when the rain was suspended yesterday, the teenager was looking to redeem the scoreline. Within the first three points, it was clear that the world number 14 was showing signs of a complaint, a loose forehand indicative of her struggling form. Oh. Bencic now clearly in pain as her lack of energy gifted her opponent a three set point momentum. Hey. He just wants to conserve energy, knowing that you have to come back from five love down. Long. So first set to Puig. With no points scored and seven unforced errors to her name, the first set was a whitewashed bagel from Bencic. And it was clear the 18-year-old was in no fit state to continue. So sounds like uh, Bencic is going to retire here. It was a lost cause for Bencic, as the stomach illness that forced Angelique Kerber and, and Petra Kvitova to withdraw named another victim. Just about two games. <laughs> Go then, so Bencic is going to retire. That's a shame. A compassionate Puig comforted her opponent as she progressed to her first WTA Premier final, but perhaps not feeling the accomplishment as much as she hoped. It doesn't really feel good to go out this way, but you know, I wish her all the best in getting as healthy as she can for Melbourne. I mean, she's proved to everybody that she can be a Grand Slam contender, so it's it's one to watch out for. I'm just going to enjoy the moment because this, this is a surreal feeling for me, and I'm going to give it everything I got. So with one semi-finalist accounted for, it was time for another, as familiar allies Simona Halep and Svetlana Kuznetsova took to the court for a second time. Halep dominated their last encounter at the 2014 French Open in straight sets, but today the Russian would go one set further. A game deficit at 4-5 last night left the world number 25 with increased eager to repeat her 2004 finalist appearance. With only two winners separating the pair, it was the Russian surplus that gave her the edge to force a tie-break. Fabulous use of the court. And she remained dominant throughout that. Alec pushed on the back foot as Kuznetsova forced the opening for a short court winner. Two parts of the cherry there for Kuznetsova. A reversal of last night's scoreline, as Kuznetsova's power proved too much for the 24-year-old, taking the first set 7-6. But a break in the early stages of the second deemed costly for the Russian. Alec powered this winner on the run for a 4-2 lead. Oh, that is a wonderful way to hold serve. Kuznetsova edged the gap slightly, but it was too late a recovery. The second set slid 6-4 to Halep. Winning the second set is the semi final of the distance. But a role reversal in the third as the former finalist came out swinging for her to now grab the 4 2 lead. Deja vu of 2004 as Kuznetsova served for a place in the final. 
The wide backhand from Hallett gifted her a second shot for the Sydney International title. One match point nearly for Kuznetsova to reach her second final here in Sydney. There's a marathon, three sets match victory over the number one seed, Simona Hallett. Yeah, I mean, it was very tough. It was many ups and downs, many breaks in the game, but also it was really windy condition and difficult to keep focus through all the game as it was rain delays. But, I mean, I think it, it was really nice match. It was great points, great rallies. So after two attempts, the 2016 Sydney finalists were unveiled. Back in action four hours later to claim the championship title, since 2004 finalist Svetlana Kuznetsova take on the debutante dark horse Monica Puig. It will be a battle of experience versus the informed qualifier as the 2016 Sydney International finalist is crowned.